good morning all welcome to your english 2 class yes as i promised today we will be discussing act 2 scene 3 and act 2 scene 4 uh, but before that we need to know what we have learned in act 2 scene 2 so far we have seen the uh, we have seen we are introduced to the character uh, launcelot that is a fool of the play we have seen here he is uh, debating uh, in between his conscience and fin and at last he decided to choose uh, the order given by his fin and that is to leave shylock and to join bassanio we have seen here his father will arrive in the scene uh, from countryside and he will also be you know teasing his old father with his jokes and later on he will apologize and he will plead for everything what did and he will um confirm that he is launcelot gogo's own son here we will have another pleader that is graciano who will plead to bassanio to take him to belmont and uh, to uh, to this uh, bassanio actually said graciano has to be quite um you know calm and uh, he needs to tone down his behavior in order to be in belmont he uh, should possess all the manners and etiquettes that should please everyone over there in belmont and that should not create a bar for bassanio right so uh, the uh, scene ended there and now we will discuss act 2 scene 3 uh, this scene actually introduces jessica who is shylock's daughter and we will see here uh, like uh, launcelot she is also ready to leave her father's house because she is also overburdened and she felt quite claustrophobic to be in her father's territory so she will also leave her father's house and with whom with with whom do you know with whom she actually decides to be with lorenzo another christian and when she got to know that um, launcelot is leaving his father's company she will feel sorry as she found uh, launcelot to be quite an amusing character who causes laughter for her many a times so she will feel very pity and sorry and at the same time she uh, will be called uh, i mean she will consider to be a seen what is a seen to be the daughter of such a such a um, villainous character that is shylock she will consider this to be a seen okay and here we will see uh, actually the love story between uh, lorenzo and jessica will be brought to light and uh, towards the end we will see jessica will ask uh, launcelot to give her letter to lorenzo and as soon as she as, as soon as launcelot leaves she will um, be very impatient and she uh, actually she will consider all the narrow mindedness and all the wrong principles of her father um, to be the main cause not to be here in her father's house anymore and she uh, actually decides to get married to a christian named lorenzo so actually she at last she said she will end the conflict what is the conflict whether she will be there in her father's territory or she will disobey her father's orders and will leave her house and in order to get married to uh, lorenzo a christian and she will say she will end this conflict by marrying lorenzo and becoming a christian at last okay now let us uh, discuss this scene in detail uh, as i told you um in a live class i told you all i will ask all of you to uh, make bullets and summarize the whole scene first you have to write act 2 scene 3 on the above and then you have to write what are what are the characters present so we have seen here jessica and launcelot so you will write jessica and launcelot 
and the location is venice a room in shylock's house first you will write and then with bullets you will just summarize the whole scene okay so first jessica i am sorry thou wilt leave my father so i am sorry you are leaving my father like this our house is hell and thou a merry devil our house may be like a hell and you have been an amazing devil to me did it rob it of some test of tediousness you often took away the tediousness and made a good deal with boredom but fare thee well but goodbye to you there is a ticket for thee here is a ticket for you and launcelot soon at supper shall thou see and launcelot in the short time of supper we will meet you lorenzo you who is thy new master guest lorenzo who is your new master's guest tonight so in the supper time in the dinner time you will meet whom lorenzo who is your new master's guest tonight new master means basanio's guest tonight so you will meet him tonight give him this letter he she actually gave a letter to launcelot and said give him this letter who lorenzo to lorenzo do it secretly do the task very secretly and so fare well and now fare well i would not have my father i would not have my father see me in talk with thee i do not want my father to see me talking to you so you please leave now to this launcelot says adieu tears exhibit my tongue goodbye tears prevent me from speaking most beautiful pigan most sweet jew you are the most beautiful pigan and the most sweet jew if a christian do not play the knave and get thee i am much deceived i am sure that a christian must resort to trickery in order to get you but adieu this foolish drops do somewhat drown my manly spirit but goodbye this foolish tears is actually um, barring me to become a true man so goodbye so here we have also seen the main characteristics are being highlighted in the character of launcelot even even if he is feeling sorry to leave uh, shylock's house forever he feels sorry for jessica but and he uh, he he also and we all, the audience will also find him in tears but he is saying that this tears are nothing but the obstacle it it cannot help it cannot allow me to speak and it is somehow uh, you know um, uh, demolishing my manly spirit so i should not cry now jessica farewell good launcelot goodbye good launcelot a luck so uh, launcelot he exit now jessica is say a luck what hain a scene is in in it in me you just underline this to be ashamed to be my father's child so she is saying that alas what a deadly scene it is for me to be ashamed to be the child of my father so she found it to be a scene to be the daughter of such a jew such a villainous such a um, malignant man named shylock but though i am daughter to his blood though i am his daughter by birth i am not to his manners i am not the same in his customs o oh, lorenzo if thou keep promise o oh, lorenzo if you please keep your promise i shall end this strife i will end this conflict become a christian and thy loving wife i will become a christian by marrying you so as i told uh, she she is actually we we have seen here she was confined in a place 
and uh, in a place uh, where she lives that is shylock's house and she finds it like a jail and she wants to breathe freely she wants to leave uh, his father's territory and uh, this is the only way out by getting married to a lorenzo who she really loves so she is praying that lorenzo if you please just um, you know obey uh, the orders and if you please come and save me i will end the strife i'll end the conflict what is the conflict whether i am disobeying my father whether i am being disloyal to my father and am i doing it right to get married to a christian a uh, lorenzo but i want to end this conflict by getting mar married to you and by becoming a true christian okay now uh, act 2 scene 4 this is this scene this scene was really short uh, but uh, yes uh, i would uh, like to tell you um, the Je lorenzo jessica love story here that uh, we found in act 2 scene 3 uh, the subplot of lorenzo jessica love story commences in the scene so this is a subplot and the subplot continues in act 4 and five also that we'll get to see further and uh, two characters uh, are very important here uh, that is uh, launcelot and jessica but shylock's characteristics are also revealed uh, through jessica's speech so in the scene shylock plays the role of a villain though he is not present his insensitive and tyrannical attitude is revealed through his daughter right she says our house is hell so she calls her house to be a hell right so that is somehow pointing towards shylock's uh, attitude to her shylock's miserliness his hostility towards the pleasure of life and his passion for money have made this life no less than a hell for jessica and this has alienated him from everyone including his daughter now she feels uh, you know she feels to get out of such hell like situation by any way by getting married to lorenzo and jessica and we 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 have also seen in jessica's speech how much regretful she is being shylock's daughter so she says alack what heinous scene is it in me to be ashamed to be my father's child so she feels quite ashamed to be the child of his father that her father that is shylock now jessica's characteristics jessica is the only daughter of shylock but she is ashamed of being his daughter as we know she finds the atmosphere of her father's house quite suffocating she detests her father's miserliness and tyrannical nature so there here you will find the contrast between shylock and his daughter although her father is a jew who hates christian she falls in love with lorenzo a true christian Jessica is torn by the conflict between her obligation to her father and her desire to marry Lorenzo. She is aware of the scene of being ashamed to be the daughter of such a man named Shylock and she decides to leave his territory and marry Lorenzo. Jessica appears quite heartless and unfaithful to her father and her religion. However, her intention of of leaving her father's house seems natural enough as shylock was sir shylock has been unsuccessful in giving her the fatherly love and affection that she wants so she finds herself alienated from uh, her, her father's territory and she finds herself not to be loved at all so this decision she has taken and the she decides to um, make a revolt against the oppression and narrow mindedness of shallop by marrying lorenzo right so these two characters are very important now as i told you we will start with act 2 scene 4 
hope uh, you have uh, already uh, start summarizing the scene if you haven't yet please do it fast because i as i told you in the next class i'll be asking you to show your copy okay so act 2 scene 4 this scene is a continuation of act 2 scene 3 as i told okay launcelot will be delivering jessica's letter to lorenzo and we hear a surprise uh, we hear we all will hear about a surprise that a masquerade is going to be arranged by bisanio but some arrangements are not done yet and they all are in lack of um a, a, a torch bearer okay and when um, this uh, launcelot will deliver the letter to uh, lorenzo he will read the letter and he will be actually uh, decoding all the plans of jessica in front of graciano and then how will she leave uh, what are the stuff she is um, actually uh, she is deciding to carry along with her everything every every detail of her plan will be revealed by lorenzo in front of graciano after listening that graciano will decide to assist her in every possible way okay in their elopement and uh, yes the scene will end with the announcement of lorenzo that jessica will become the torch bearer for the night okay now let us read this so yeah here also you have to do the same first you have to write act 2 scene 4 and then scene uh, the location of the scene that is venice a street and the characters graciano lorenzo salerino salanio okay launcelot so this characters are present here enter graciano lorenzo salerino and salanio lorenzo nay we will slink away in supper time disguise me at my lodging and return all in an hour so it seems they are very busy um, regarding the arrangement that uh, the, the about the masquerade that is going to take place tonight so lorenzo is saying nay we will slink away in the supper time no we shall leave quietly at the supper time disguise us at my lodging so disguise ourselves at my lodging and return and then come back all in an hour it can be done within an hour graciano we have not made good preparation we have not uh, made all the preparations yet salerino we have not spoke as yet of the torch bearer we have not arranged the torch bearer yet salanio this while unless it may be quietly ordered so it will be worthless unless it will be done in a proper manner and better in my mind not undertook and and what and as my opinion it would be better not to attend this part lorenzo It is now but four o'clock. It is now only four o'clock. We have two hours to furnish us. We have two hours to equip ourselves. Enter Launcelot with a letter. With whose letter? Jessica's letter. So we have seen Lorenzo, Graciano, Salerino, and Salanio, and Lorenzo. They all were discussing about the masquerade. They all. seem to be very busy here in the scene and uh, they all are uh, very disturbed as they have not arranged a torch bearer yet and they all are saying that without the torch bearer it will not look good and it will be incomplete one but if it's not possible to arrange a proper torch bearer then we should leave but if we are doing it we should do it following the proper ways So at that time, Launcelot enters with Jessica's letter. Friend Launcelot, what's the news? So he is asked by Lorenzo. Friend Launcelot, what's the news? Launcelot, and it shall please you to break up this. It shall seem to signify. The and means what if? So if you will be pleased. to break the seal of it 
break the seal of the letter. Okay. It shall shall seem to signify then it will allow you to let the thing know. Means you have to unlock, you have to open the seal of the letter in order to understand the thing. Lorenzo, I know the hand in faith is a fair hand. I know the hand means the handwriting. In faith, it's a fair hand. It is a fair handwriting indeed. The whiter than the paper it read on is the fair hand that read. So the hand which has designed this letter is fairer and more white than the paper. And uh, than the paper it wrote upon. So these are nothing but exaggeration. Graciano, love news in faith, a love letter indeed. Lancelot, by your leave, sir, may I go now? Lorenzo, with a guest now, where are you going? Lancelot, marry, sir, to bid my old master the Jew to sup tonight with my new master the Christian. So by Mary, by Virgin Mary, sir, I am going to take a leave for my old master and to join uh, my new master and all of you by the dinner time tonight. Lorenzo, hold here. Take this. Means Lorenzo gave, gives money. Tell Jessica I will not fail her. Speak it privately. So you will tell Jessica that I will not disappoint her. And uh, speak it privately. Speak it in a silent way. Go gentlemen. Exit long slot. Will you prepare you for the mask tonight? I am provided of a torch bearer. Now Lorenzo said, Yes, as we were in need of a torch bearer, I have found who will be bearing the torch tonight and who he wants Jessica to be the torch bearer. Salarino, how merry! I will be gone about it straight. Yes, by Mary, I shall go to make it ready immediately. Salonio, and so will I. I will also go with you. Lorenzo, meet me and Graciano at Graciano's lodging some hour hence. So Lorenzo is saying, meet me and meet Lorenzo and Graciano at Graciano's lodging after an hour from now. Salarino, it is good we do so. It is well that we should do so. Exit Salarino and Salarino. Now, now, only two characters present in the scene. Graciano and Lorenzo. Graciano. Was not that letter from fair Jessica? Is that letter from... Isn't it from Jessica? Lorenzo. I must needs tell thee all. I must tell you everything. She hath directed. She advised how I shall take her from her father's house. So here she actually Lorenzo is uh, reciting everything that is written in the letter about Jessica's plan. So he is saying that um, how I shall take her from her father's house. What gold and jewels she is furnished with means what gold and jewels and money uh, she will be taking along with her. With what pages suit she hath in readiness what pages should means the uniform of a young boy serving a person of a high rank means the uniform of a servant so what um, uh, young boy's uniform or what servant's uniform she is wearing uh, today if ever the Jew her father come to heaven if ever the Jew the father his I mean her, her father comes to heaven it will be for his gentle daughter's sake it is only because he has a daughter like jessica such a gentle daughter and never dare misfortune cross a foot unless she do it under this excuse and if any misfortune ever crosses her feet it will be due to she is the daughter of such a man called shylock so here we can see 
uh, that uh, Lorenzo is very much contented with Jessica's decision and uh, she he is actually praising Jessica's deeds and Jessica is uh, shown here as a lady in action she is bold enough to execute what she has planned and she is thoroughly admired by Lorenzo here because uh, Lorenzo is saying that it is only due to her if Shylock ever comes to heaven only because of Jessica and if anything any misfortune ever crosses Jessica's feet it will be due to his sorry her father that is Shylock unless she do it under this excuse that she is the issue of a faithless Jew unless it is due to the excuse that she is the issue means she is the child of a unbelieving Jew come go with me pursue this as thou wast now come go with me read this letter as you go along fair Jessica shall be by torch bearer so the scene ends with her declaration that Jessica will be her torch bearer. Okay. Now, uh, here we will discuss about three characters. Jessica, Lorenzo and Launcelot. How these characters are shown here uh, in the light of Act 2, Scene 4. So, in the scene, Jessica is shown as a woman of action. She not only makes plans but also puts her plans into action. She decides to disguise herself in a boy's dress and elopes with Lorenzo. She is clever enough not to leave empty handed. So she decides to steal her father's earnings and valuable jewels. This further highlights her disloyalty and betrayal of her father's trust in her. Now Lorenzo, Lorenzo is a carefree and careless young man, yes. He has no remorse in eloping with Shylock's daughter because he hates the Jew. Instead, he feels he is doing a good deed by freeing Jessica from her hell-like house. Lorenzo has no scruples either in eloping with Jessica without her father's permission or accepting the stolen money and jewels. So here we have seen the we have seen Lorenzo's character. Now Launcelot. Launcelot here is a messenger who delivers Jessica's letter to Lorenzo and Lorenzo's reply to Jessica. So thus he helps in the subplot of elopement of Jessica and Lorenzo. Okay. So this uh, act two scene four ends here. Now I'll ask you to read Act 2, Scene 3 and Act 2, Scene 4 thoroughly with all the explanations available in the study material section. You will get certain question answers available in the worksheet section as well. After reading this, you will go and avail that. So hopefully you will face no difficulty while reading this. If you face any, please write to me. I'm always here in order to clarify all your doubts. Okay. So uh, the class ends here. We'll meet in the next class with the poem. As I know you want to read the poem. I will teach that in the next class. Until then, take care of yourself. Take care of everyone around you. And do attend all the classes uh, carefully, please. And uh, have a great day ahead.